first and foremost, the two must uh, talk. They must sit down and discuss. In terms of uh, policy direction, the DOE has to be clear. And the DOE has to limit itself to policy formulation or implementation and leave regulation with ERC. In the same way that ERC will have to leave policy making and, and uh, policy interpretation with DOE and just work towards the realization of whatever objectives that will be set through regulation, through uh, the issuance of the rules, through the decisions that it will render. The, the problem in the past was that th there was a time when the secretary and the chairman, they were at odds and they were not talking. There, there was a time in our history, even under IPRA, when uh, the DOE was very silent and in, because of the vacuum, the ERC had to step up and come out with regulations that actually seem would already border on actually determination of whatever the policy should be or interpretation of the policy. Then there was a time in our history when they were talking, but then one will just follow what the other is saying. And so what, what happened, like in the case of, say, the issuance of the circular, on uh, the disqualification of, of the distribution utilities from becoming suppliers to contestable market. Before, it was, it was not so. That was based on the regulations issued by ERC. Then ERC, or the DOE, they talked. And ERC, because there was already change in the composition of ERC. Then what happened? The DOE came out with a circular saying it's now the policy that distribution utilities cannot anymore engage in uh, the supply business. This is not understanding that there is a law already that provides for who may engage in the supply business. Then the ERC came out with the regulation consistent with the, with the policy maker. Then they were both sued in the Supreme Court. Now, there's a TRO, and we cannot move in this uh, ARCOA, or the Retail Competition Implementation. So I guess my take is they have to talk, they have to be clear as to what their respective roles are. They have to look at the law, because first and foremost, the policy should be in the law, and work towards implementation of these policy goals in the law through the issuance of the policy instruments by DOE and the issuance of regulations by ERC. All aligned, consistent with each other, and aligned to what is in the law.